you know it's been a little bit since I've talked about Neo Attack, right? This one is, is one that I'm, I'm still holding on to, and you know that. Well, obviously we see it's a big delay, and there's a good reason for it, so I would like to share with you uh, some of the good news that just came out today about this company. So, they just released their April sales report, which is big. They do it on a monthly basis, which is fantastic, obviously. So, firstly, I think it's fair to look back uh, into March. So, March, obviously, we're in peak, peak pandemic environment, right? Um, everything shut down in China, and they go ahead and deliver 1,500 vehicles, right? Overall, I mean, nothing crazy with this, so, um, yeah, I mean, 1,500 vehicles, overall, uh, you see cumulative deliveries in 2020 of, uh, 3,838 vehicles, Nothing too crazy, and overall cumulative deliveries in total uh, across the company of 35,700. So it's pretty cool um, to look at those numbers. In March, obviously, you see it got hit pretty hard. Um, <clears throat> and, and again, it was even worse in February because of this entire impact of the whole economy being shut down. But overall, those numbers aren't even that bad to begin with. But then you look at April, and son of a gun. They delivered 3,155 vehicles in April. Holy crap. So in total, that brings them to nearly 7,000 vehicles this year. Um, what is going on? So Neo delivered 3,100 vehicles, representing a strong consecutive growth of 105.8% month over month. That's right, doubled month over month. We just saw that. And a 180.7% growth year over year. I mentioned a lot. I think this company's growing massively, and they're going to be a big thing here in China. They're going to be, well, I can't say here in China. I don't live in China. But I think they're going to be a big thing in China. Um, <clears throat> if there's one thing about China, I just got to be fair. They want to be the biggest economic superpower. Let's just be fair. And they're probably going to buy Chinese made um, as opposed to an American made Tesla. Just being 100% honest with you. But we will see. So. It uh, consisted of 2,900 ES6s. It's their main model for sure. es is not that exciting, even though they released a new one. I'm not too excited about it. So um, We do have the excitement of the, uh, the EC coming out uh, later this year, in the middle of the year, which I think will overtake any of these, all things, in consideration of uh, uh, what you get for a vehicle. So... And we'll take a look at that in just a second. So, uh, in April, we achieved record high ES6 deliveries since June 2019. Um, and deliveries of the all new ES8 have also been well on track, says William Lee. Uh, these results were mainly contributed by recovering production and delivery capa uh, capabilities. So, again, they're starting to reopen over there in China. So, um, they're succeeding from this. I mean, this this is just a good-looking number, all things considered. Uh, meanwhile, we have witnessed strong order growth momentum driven by increasing recognition of our uh, competitive products, exceptional services, and particularly the battery swap technologies by our existing and potential users. Pretty exciting. Uh, as we continue to expand our sales network through the launch of more efficient NEO spaces, uh, we now have 105 point of sale uh, in op points of sale and operation in China, promoting our brand and products by uh, to a growing number of regions and communities. Additionally, the positive order and delivery momentum, we remain uh, committed to further improving our gross margin and operational efficiency. And that's one thing to mention. This company is still very much in infancy, uh, and it's one that I understand that the the operating income number. The EPS number is going to be horrific on this company. And as they sell more, they're not really profitable at all. Um, and again, you know I always talk bad about prof non-profitable companies. My thing with this company is I think the ceiling's very high, and I don't think the shares are valued to the future growth. I don't think that's at all the case. When we talk about companies trading at market caps 10 times what their average sales are uh, for a year, well, that's a little absurd. Um, some are trading 100 times that. Gosh dang. Um, but Neo's not trading there. Okay, Neo is, is they're not trading there. Um, not by any means. I mean, this company's doing well. So 
we also talk about it's it's important to mention that they also don't forget they received a uh, some funding at the end of April. So um, very exciting. So they got some money delivered to them in April. Um, assets including vehicle research, development, supply chain, sales uh, and services, and Neo Power into China. Very exciting stuff. So again, this money, uh, which was not unexpected. I knew they would, um, just due to the fact that, well, I think we already know what's going on here. Um, China is going to make sure that China growth stays alive. It's just a fact. Um, think about how we would bail out, and we have bailed out, something like General Motors. I mean, in the United States, we've bailed out General Motors. Neo is going to get bailed out by China if they need money. That's just how it is. Uh, they're going to keep the Chinese companies alive for many. I mean, it makes sense. They want to stay homegrown with that stuff, so it's completely understandable. Then um, one thing to look, obviously, is the EC6 coming up, which I talked about previously, which I think is going to be a massive boon later this year. The sales are already doing super well on this company. I mean, we're talking about very good growth, even in the middle of pandemic. Um, but this new EC6 is just a beautiful vehicle, and I think good things are coming for it. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that butte. Look at that butte. And look at the future of this website. Look at the futurism. You just got to scroll down, and it's, ooh, it's a beautiful looking car. Um, and I think this is going to succeed super well because the range is, is very good on this company. Obviously, um, speed, very exciting. I mean, this is a fast car. But it's just a good looking car. It's just a good looking car uh, as far as electric is concerned. So I think they're going to do well on it. Uh, it fits the model that they do well on. Um, it's a little bit less SUV like, like their typical vehicle. So I think it's going to do well. So that's that's Neo for you. I'm really excited for the future of this company, all things considered. It might take a couple years to develop, but I'm excited for this.